everybody, Linda here from the Centre Duff. I'm just about to put some beeswax into my boiler, which is on the stove here. I just thought I'd show you what I do with this beeswax I get from my the beekeeper who lives across the road from me. Now, he gives me all this uh, lovely beeswax from his hive that's um, all in little pieces. It still has some honey in it and still has some little dead bees and all sorts of things. So what I do now is I'm going to put all of that into my pot here which has some water. When it comes to the boil I'll put it in there in the pot and then what happens is the, um, the water melts the beeswax and the beeswax when it when it cools down the beeswax will be left on top of the water and you'll have this disc of wax so you just keep doing that keep reboiling it in water until your beeswax is clear and then you have a nice um, chunk of beeswax to use in your soap or your lotions or whatever you want to use it in I just thought I'd share that with you in case you're wondering how um, how you would do that. I'm very, very lucky. I have this wonderful source of natural beeswax and also I get a lovely pot of beautiful honey as well. Lovely. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you some more from this. Bye. Uh, here we have the um, wax and the honey and all the little um, bits and pieces that's in the wax. They're boiling up on the stove now. I'll just turn it off, wait for it to cool down, and then I'll take take the wax off the top. It will have formed a, a little round disc on the top and um, scrape all the debris from underneath the wax and then reboil it and off we go again and keep doing that until the wax is clear. I still have this much left in my bucket so I'm just going to keep on doing that till I've got all of it um, melted down. Um, I have to, I'll have to do all that bucket today because and it's quite a big bucket because otherwise um, it'll attract bees to it and also if you turn um, into honey mead if I don't um, get the um, honey and the wax out. So that's what I'm doing today. I'll be boiling up wax on my stove and waiting for it to cool. So I'll, um, I'll post some more pictures when, um, when it cools. See you soon. Hi, I'm back again with my beeswax. Now uh, I've poured off the water and this is the disc of wax that was sitting on top of the water it's the top of it and underneath it's the underside with all the dirt well it's not dirt it's just um, what's left over from the honey and everything so what I do now is just scrape that off and um, it comes off quite easily scrape as much of it as I can under the running water to do that and then break it up into pieces again and it's cleaned a little bit more on that it will just come off it's just little wax waxy debris put it back in my saucepan and reboil it and do the process all over again I'll probably have to do it four or five times but I promise you I will end up with beautiful clear white beeswax fabulous in your soap and in your body products uh, I'll show you the end result when um, I've finished processing it thanks for watching bye